I'm here at the Fanshawe Conservation Area where the city's Pioneer Village is getting ready to open their doors for its 65th season. The village has seen plenty of changes over that time with new attractions and stories being added since it first opened in 1959. When the village first opened up, we were a fairly small amount of buildings, only four original buildings. So since then, we've grown to 33 buildings. So in and amongst that, there's all these new stories and spaces and things that have happened um, during that time. Uh, lately, I've been here for about a decade now. And so the biggest changes that I've been seeing really have been um, including more and more voices. We've just recently had the African Methodist Episcopal Church, and this is its first uh, full season here with us as an open building. And so we are really looking at continuing to grow new voices as we go for the next few years. The Fanshawe Pioneer Village is kicking off its year on May 18th over the Victoria Day long weekend with plenty for those of all ages to enjoy. Our opening day is the May 18th, um, so that's the Saturday. We're also open the Sunday, May 19th, but our big event is Victoria Day, the holiday Monday, so May 20th. Um, all three days were open 10 to 4 p.m. And so um, for Victoria Day, we're going to be having Eldon House as a guest to the village here talking about um, tea practices at the time and afternoon tea. We will be also be having um, live music uh, during the day, we're going to be having dancing, celebrations, even some school lessons, which is kind of the building right beside us over there. And then um, we're lucky enough to have Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria briefly visiting for us for the day. So it's exciting to have her attending the, um, the village of Fanshawe. For those looking to attend, tickets can now be purchased right at the entrance to the conservation area, and the full list of times, events, and more can be found on the Fanshawe Pioneer Village website. Justin Kohler, XFM News.